What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again and today I want to talk to you about the 6.4.2 bug fix patch that came out this afternoon to address some of Dead by Daylight's current problems that's affecting everyone. Um, uh, I haven't looked into this really too much. I I've been at work today. I'm about to start stream right now. So just remember, you can come down to Twitch, check me out. Link is in the description, but I'm a little bit late to this by a few hours, but uh, let's get into it. Let's see what they've changed. Hopefully there's some good things here and um, here's hoping. Right, so content, Bone Chill. The Bone Chill event returns on December 8th, bringing holiday atmosphere, dark and fantastical cosmetics, a few familiar visitors, and much more. I'd like to comment as well on the Bone Chill event. A lot of people were saying, is it the same as Net last year? Yes, but no. Uh, the killer can actually take part in the snowmen's now, apparently. That's all I know. That's all the information I have. That's really cool. I think that's really awesome. But yeah, so the snowman event, is a, it's a little bit extended on. So that's kind of cool. Um, the night buff. Holy Jesus, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> when guards damage generators, they apply the killer's default 2.5 regression loss. The, gr the regression is not affected by perks. So I think they've upped that, haven't they? They now apply the killer's default 2.5, because I think it was like 2%. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, that's great. Why not just add perks as a regression to it? That would have been so much better. Whatever, moving on. Nah, damn. Bug fixes, PlayStation plays will no longer be stuck with an analog cursor in game. Yippee. Good. The Knight's enchanted plates outfit now plays the correct sound in the menu. Cool. The Knight no longer crosses small obstacles after using Guardia Compagnia. Fixed an animation issue where the Knight's guards hit a survivor during a locker search. Okay. The Knight's guards no longer get stuck when creating a patrol path in select corners. Fixed an issue where the Knight could not order guards to destroy selectable breakable walls. Yeah, I've had that problem before. The Knight's Patrol Path Orb no longer triggers Make Your Choice or Hex Devour Hope. And that was a massive bug that was in the PTB and Live After where it would count within that you weren't in the area of the hook, meaning you could just be standing there and the orb away from the hook, that would be where your terror radius is counted from. It was pretty broken. Uh, the Oni. The Oni's weapon no longer disappears during the match results screen. I haven't seen that. Interesting. Survivor perks. The Knight's Guardia Compagnia no longer makes the terror radius indicator disappear from the Spine Chill icon. Spine Chill no longer grants a repair bonus where a survivor is in the line of sight and the Knight's Path drawing orb. Okay, cool. Whatever. Sweet. Makes sense. Good changes. Maps. This one's massive, I think. A hook-free dead zone in one of the corners of the Temple of Purgation map has been fixed. I actually ran across this three weeks ago on stream, and it's very frustrating. Good stuff. A totem no longer accidentally spawns inside a locker in the game map. <laughs> These devs make me laugh. Removed impassable spaces on the Ironworks of Misery. Sweet. An invisible collision spot in Auto Haven Wrecker's Realm has been fixed. Fixed an irregular pallet spawn issue in Auto Haven Wrecker's Realm. Sweet. Remove spaces where killers could not pass between objects, trees, and rocks on Crotus Pen Asylum map. Good. Stop the fat shaming, guys. Seriously. Um, a maze tile on the Garden of Joy map no longer accidentally spawns without windows. Wow. Okay. Reduce the number of pallets in the Shattered Square map. That's massive. So yeah, they fixed that it's just the game V2 or the game Lumberjack Yard V2. They fixed that. It was a bug. They did confirm that a while ago. Not as many pallets on the Shattered Square now. It'll be a lot more tolerable. Thank God. Pretty sure it'll be Kill Switch to be back on. Fixed an issue where two pallets spawned at the same time in, <laughs> in the Shattered Square map. Yep, you'd see loops, like two loops right next to each other with two pallets. And then it'd just be like six pallets in a row. Edge objects now spawn as intended in the Shattered Square map. Sweet. Good stuff. I'm happy with that. Uh, Misc. Survivors no longer suffer from distorted lips <laughs> during select actions. The killer's loadout no longer displays while spectating a survivor during a custom game. And then we got some known issues here at the bottom. The knight's feet have no animation when looking down during an attack. Yeah, you just can't. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Yeah, I've seen it. The killer's aura does not properly appear while Kindred is active if the hook survivor did not equip the perk. Yeah, fair enough. Whatever. 
And that's all coming in. That's all live. That's all done now. So that's why I'm a few hours behind. Um, yeah. I mean, while this is a bug fix, and while I'm happy that they're fixing bugs, especially some game-breaking bugs, definitely, I do think that this may or may not... It's may. It's a may. This has been a missed opportunity to sort of buff the knight. I still don't think he's where he should be. I don't think we should get comfortable with releasing killers in this state. Um, I, I read something interesting today. I, I don't know where it was. I can't remember now. I'm, I've been at work. Um, that they're happy to release cosmetics on time, charge you a shit ton for it. But when it comes to a chapter with actual content, stuff you can sink your teeth into, whether or not it's repeated on one game mode, they always release it in tatters. Um, some more than others. Obviously, I think Resident Evil Chapter was okay, if I remember correctly. Dredge was alright, I think, if I remember correctly. But there's been a couple of chapters now that have just been more than a couple that have been absolutely awful. So, I just feel like, yeah, I know this is a bug fix. I get that. They're just fixing the main issues with the game, I guess. Well, the current issues in the game. Um, but I really feel like the devs have sat on their laurels with this, and I think they're not going to buff him in the near future, which is really sad because I think he's a really good killer. Like, really fun to play. I don't know. Just one man's opinion. As for the fat shaming, that's awesome that they fixed some of those ridiculous tiles that started appearing with trees and bricks and hay and everything coming around. That that was really frustrating. And I thought that was deliberate for a while there. Like, I actually, th actually thought that that was deliberate. Like, that's where the game's going. Just making it easy mode for Survivor. Um, and as far as the map is concerned, the, the new map, the Knight's map, great why was it released that way it just goes back to my conversation earlier about cosmetics being released charging you a fortune because they are they're really expensive for cosmetics by the way um and yeah just releasing it in the absolute state it was no one is going to enjoy their experience the first time they play that live they're always going to give you negative feedback so i just don't understand why you guys shoot yourselves in the foot for it it doesn't make sense to me um good issues being fixed maps fixed pallets are fixed multiple pallets next to each other fixed the knight does a 2.5 regression on the gens could have done more could have just applied the gen perk to it makes more sense but they didn't mention the fact that he still takes longer to put out his knights no mention of that so that's intentional so the actual nerf he got recently there where in the ptb he was slower to lay down his knights that's intentional it just bugs me man because i i feel like I feel like this is all deliberate and this is like the where they want him as a power level and i feel ultimately it's an absolutely missed opportunity for the chapter in general what a shame but anyway guys as always let us know what you think in the comments down below let me know also don't forget to like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video share it around it really does help me out also consider becoming a member so i can keep things going over here on youtube don't always also don't forget i'm live right now on twitch Link is in the description below. Mr. Gims on Twitch. Simple. Check me out if you'd like. We're going to be talking about all these things. But right now, I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Z Breakers because that game, whew, it's fun as hell. But anyway, guys, love you all. Have a great night. See you in the next one.